The Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast. Oh. So, Thursday podcast. Hey, oh. Nick went to the Ecker. Like, I was going to ask him what rides and that he went on. Oh, yeah. And did anyone else go to the Ecker? No. I no. no. gave that a miss. But also, Mitch, you have a couple of things for the podcast too. Oh. We've got a lineup. One, sure. One was uh, oh, well, an operation story. Yeah. Or should we save it for on air? Operation. Yeah. operation. Yeah. And one was. You're the doctor. Yeah. Anyway. Well, it's, 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 that sounds pretty good. Yeah. Nikolai Terence. Should we talk to Nick, though, as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah. God, you're very colour coded today, Nick. I love that outfit. That. Why do I never wear that when I go onto the street? I have to remember to do that. Yeah. Well, I think we've got to try and find a sort of place where you and I are. We're the same people, but we're different people. So maybe it's just me dressing anti Mitch on the streets. Fair enough. Just, just maybe you know, try I mean, my own thing. It's the same guy, but you know. No, mm. technology wise, definitely not. <laughs> I mean, so if they want to see that and go, oh, that's the guy from the Broncos, because they would be technically right, but also could be yeah, very there's wrong. There's a lot so. of mixed. Yeah, you're yeah. right, actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I suppose that works. you guys mirror each other very yeah. uh, closely. I think it works better for Nick than Mitch. What do you mean? What, the what, jacket. what does? Well, being the same person. Because Whoa. this is this is deep existential <laughs> stuff. My, 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 bro, my brain just broke there. Wow. I don't understand what this sure what Susie's either. saying. What well, are you saying? I feel like. <laughs> oh, you think that Nick pretending that he's Mitch that moves that's him a, up. That's a, it moves him up, him up a little bit. So in other words, in Mitch way? is Mitch is higher up the pecking order. That is what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. you? in what I'm not saying it in words. You, you're saying yes. it's a poor reflect. I'm trying to. Yeah. I'm trying to work out what you're saying. I'm trying to work out. It. I refuse to have this pinned on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ash is distancing himself. <laughs> these comments. Oh, I'm trying to understand. He really isn't. <laughs> it's a comprehension test. I'm looking for clarity. What are you, exactly are you saying? I feel like, no, I to feel remove all doubt. Nick, I feel like your star's rising. I feel. I feel like Mitch's star's already rising. R- risen. Hit the ceiling, have I? No, no, no. no. You, still oh, you, think Mitch, <laughs> you think Mitch is going to... I think Mitch is a rising think, star. Do you think Mitch should wave to Nick on the way down? Yeah. 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 down? Have fun at the top, yeah. buddy. Yeah. <laughs> it's not that high, but it's... Okay. I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable. I don't agree. I think I you're both disagree. separate personalities. <laughs> I just want to say I have no opinion about anything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, really I, I know this isn't the reason you called me into the studio. No, oh, no, no, no. no, 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 no. Yeah, why do we get him in here? I, I saw. I, I saw on your Insta that you went to the Eki yesterday. I did. Now, yeah. Mate, well, you haven't got children, have you? No. <laughs> the, but, no. But I haven't. What are you doing at the Eki? You still go to the Eki. No. no one goes to the Eki well, on it, the Wednesday. I want to go. That's weird. Oh, it's come on. It's a thing my wife and I have done since I think the last last ten years. Actually, it's just we both had the when we used to work in retail back in the day. We never really had the same day off, but we always had show day off, so we go, let's go and do yeah, this. Yeah. Work. We're, 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 two ki- we're two kids in the <laughs> they, country. They moved at a, uh, they, li- they worked at a, at a, at a, at a clothing store. store. Clothing store. Yeah. Suzanne Gray's. So it was like they'll... So Suzanne. You- Suzanne. When there was no cu- when there no. was no customers in the store, was it just you okay. and your missus? Um, yeah. When we started, that's how we met. Yeah, yeah. Really? yeah. You spent all that time together, just the two of you in the store. Yeah, and then did you ever get it on? Like in the we, um, no, we oh. we never did. We did. Yeah, uh, we did still is uh, in uh, the change out, rooms. Outside, outside, no, we never did. Uh, she was a lot more of a professional than yes. I was. You wanted to <laughs> she shut yeah. that down. <laughs> she shut that down early days. Uh, she then, wasn't up for it. No, and then we had to. Uh, then we moved it. Um, and then the company we sort of had to declare the information that we're seeing each other. So the company sent us to different stores. Oh, really? It's a shame because we actually worked really you have well to do together. That. Yeah, like, like, oh, really? like any workplace. Are you allowed to be with people you work with? What do you mean, like any workplace? Like any workplace, if you get involved with a co worker, declare it. You do have to declare it, yeah. Who to? What so, do you have to say? Uh, to, to, to any HR department or management, yeah. usually you have to. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, that's a, that's a, I'm sure. Well, 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 we've got, well, we've got okay, well, here in the office, we have D, D and Mark mm-hmm. got yeah. together years ago. They would have, I imagine, they would have had to have done the same thing. They would have had to have said uh, to so HR management. Could be a conflict there? Yeah, because it could be conflict of interest, it could affect work. Yep. Interesting. It, and it obviously protects any company from any HR suit uh, down the track. If you break up. Or? So what, you, did you have to go? So we went to the Ecker. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what, was that your thing, was it, back in the day? You yeah, go the and, and now we just go to the uh, to, to the Woolies oh, Pavilion nice. and get half, half cut on samples. and. Uh, <laughs> what, alcohol? Yeah. Do they have alcohol? Yeah, because you've got all oh, the vendors got, coming around from um, oh, all other state. I, I went to the Ceramay one a couple of years ago in that pavilion. Yeah, where the Ceramay stand? We, I, was, I went there like 11 a.m. and just, just to check it out, whatever. I was there at six. I got blown. You I didn't can. know you could do that. Yeah, you can. On the samples yeah. of wine. Of wine, it? of gin, of anything that someone is selling there. The trick is you mm-hmm. go in, you get your samples from wherever you go, and you hold hold down, try a few things, and then because they know they've got so changed. Yeah, go get changed. Um, <laughs> but then, you know, when a group of people start coming in, 
because they have to try and grab as many people as they can. That's when you move off. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So you go, oh, maybe, yeah, you know, maybe we, we could do with a new port. That would be nice. Yeah. And then uh, oh, the new... Oh, oh, hey, you guys, if you try to think, we're off. Oh, Let's go. Get out. <laughs> wow. Yeah. And then come back. Yep. <laughs> and <laughs> the food there as well, obviously. Yeah, so food. you eat in between. Yeah, yeah little, it has to be. Little nibbles here and there. And, uh, yeah. yeah. So it's a good tip for everyone. But yeah, because it, because it was so um, because what did you it, sample? Like, mm. Oh, it was a nice nice gins from um uh, from around the state. Uh, some good distilleries around this place. Um, yeah, nice little bits of nougat. Always love the, the biltong. Any, any jerky biltong? places oh. outside the nougat? South African biltong's jerky. like South African. It's it's South African jerky. Yes. What's nougat? Nougat's like oh, I don't know. It's the stuff that goes in Mars bars. <laughs> it's, oh. it's the key the key player the in a Mars bar. Nougat. 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 But yeah, fills you up without without ruining your appetite. Um, milky all, all, all that thing. Otherwise, you're going know, to fill up on you know, some less, less than friendly stuff outside. Yeah. So you may as well get exactly right. Yeah, breakfast of champions. So uh, yeah, no, it was, a, it was a day well spent because there was no rides? one really there because of what rides did you go on? Nah, none. Was, half, half of them were closed down. Like the slip and slide looked like it would just <laughs> shoot, <laughs> shoot you an exhibition station. Do they still have a? Um, <laughs> it looked wild. The exhibition <laughs> station shut too, isn't it? Well, I mean, they'll have to dig you out of oh, there, but yeah, yeah it's, but it's looking actually, it is looking really good. So they mm. did have to close it for these, this this. When echo. did they shut the um, the chairlift thing? I love that chairlift thing. Few, quite a few I, years I used, ago. I used to love that. I'm gonna, chairlift. I, I like that old school stuff. I'm going to bring chair. back the like, concept of a monorail for Brisbane in the late of 2032. Oh, I like that. Like a big circular monorail right around the. Is there still CBD one of the coast with mm-hmm. like angles yeah. coming in? Yep. Just to connect the CBD. The one of the coast cheaper than tunnels. Yeah. Well, on the coast still doesn't run, does it? Like, there's still parts of the track up, or is it just a uh, little bit still at Jupiter? Honestly, still I Jupiter's. couldn't tell you. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever been on it. The one uh, at Jupiter's? Uh, Broadly, yeah. 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 Have you ever been on it? Oh, is, it is it still a there? A million years ago. I, don't I, th- think... I think some some bits of track might still yeah, be there, but, but, but I, I don't think it runs anymore. It doesn't run. I think they've got no. a monorail that works through the CBD of Sydney. I've seen yeah, that. Yeah. 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 Is that, is that still working? Yeah, down, down, down I, at Darling I, I still remember what our answer, because in the lead-up to 2032, you can build it off-site. And so the actual installation probably only takes Wouldn't six months. Wouldn't take that months. long. Mm. You, know you, I mean? oh, you just come in and screw it into the, yeah, into essentially. the street. Yeah. Well, you would have done, you were over at um, Doha Airport on the way back, weren't you? Yes. Did you Amazing. Ta- did, yeah, in, incredible, indoor, incredible indoor, indoor airport. Did incredible. You, did you take any of the sort of internal train monorail I systems? didn't, but I saw them. I didn't need to take one, but I saw them. Oh, it was amazing. It's so mm. good. So you imagine, jet, just imagine jetting around the city like yeah. that. I imagine getting from... What place was that? A big circle Doha. of monorail around... Uh-huh. From the Gabba to South Bank to Roma Street, you know, slash Suncorp, slash like Albion, Wars, whatever, yeah, whatever, right around. That'd be cool. Vicky Over Park. the river? Well, that'd be the expensive bit, but maybe you could do it without that if you had to. You attach it to, to the bottom of the, one of the bridges there. You could just connect to there or somewhere. So did you go on any That'd rides cool. or you didn't go on any no, rides? No, no rides. The chairlift <laughs> re- um, closed in 2009. No, it wasn't that long ago. Well, I guess that was <laughs> no, 2009. years ago. Far yeah, out. I it's actually good, found it? it like I had a memory pop up the other day on, on my Facebook, which I never go on, but it's the memory ones. And it was a, a picture of a mate. I'd clearly taken it of a mate as I was behind him on the on the chairlift. And I would have said well, it was at least going 15 years ago. Mm. I didn't know I was experiencing the, it for the last the, time because that was a great way to get around. Do they still sell the cobs of corn? Yeah, still there. I used to like that. Still, they've got like a like a rolling just track that just invades your mm. ears as you walk past, going like like it's just blokes standing there with corn, and going, yeah. "Why is that so advertising? Yeah, why <laughs> so that, like, uh, why do I want this?" Um, and do they still have the, the wood chopping? Yeah, wood chopping yeah. still there. Oh, um, still got the animals. A really young kid when I was at home the other day when I wasn't working, they had a nine year old kid that won. A, he was on Sunrise. He'd won a big competition at the Ecker, and he was nine. On the wood chopping. On the wood chopping. Was he a big kid? Oh, I didn't hang around for the <laughs> <laughs> story. 2032, Brisbane, wood chopping. That's, Everyone's that's, talking about it for an Olympic it's international. sport. Everyone's been talking about it as an Olympic sport. I've seen uh, Dan Anstey. Dan Anstey does it. The voiceover yeah. guy mm. for it. And it's, like, it's like mm. Australia sports versus competition. Sweden yeah. and New yeah. Zealand and mm. various uh, countries. Uh, David Foster. Yeah, David he, was the, Foster. he was the big gun. Remember him? Tasmanian. Now, why did I remember? I know I'm East from Tasmania. He was a wood chopper. Mm. Oh, he was. A, he was like a was he a world, world champion? Was he a world champion? I'm, I'm going to yeah. check it out. Yeah. He's he have a family. Did he have like, he had a kid? Yeah, they used to get into it. Yeah. So young kids out there, you're never too young to pick up an axe or a chainsaw. Get out there and have yeah. a start. <laughs> <laughs> chainsaw responsibly. Um, the photo that you posted looked pretty crowded there. Yeah, no, that that middle section, that oh, that alley, I guess that main strip, which is uh, was it King runs opposite King Street. Like in and Bowen Hills. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, that one there. Like that, Gregory, Gregory Terrace. Gregory Terrace. That one, like, that really chocks up. And, chockers, even yeah, and yesterday. You get, if you get caught at the they bottom. they got more stuff on it now too. Yeah, they're filling out well. Like that, that whole, used to be a bit of an empty space. Yeah, but now the King Street Precinct's yeah, there. Um, yeah. The old Royal Snack Bar area. So they've got all their stands there. The, the hotel there, they've got everything. So yeah, like it's, 
That sounds good. I might get your blind it's, there it's, today. Yeah. In the Stockman's, what is it called? Oh, you got the Stockman's Bar. Stockman's or Stockman's Bar. What's the other bar? Is that uh, the main bar? I oh, just go in the Woolies Pavilion and just try as oh, many samples right. as possible. Well, part of King Street's involved in it as well. Yeah, well, that's thing. They've got their their whole precinct essentially is just part of it now. Yeah, right. So, oh, like businesses are getting involved and oh, it's good. Can I, can I tell you about David Foster? Please do. Yes, Please do, good. buddy. Uh, David Foster is an Australian world champion wood chopper mm-hmm. and Tasmanian community figure. He has held the World Wood Chopping Championship title for 21 oh consecutive years and is Australia's most successful athlete. Wow. Is that his own website? And possibly the only <laughs> athlete in any sport in the world to win over 1,000 titles. That's pretty wow. amazing. That's irrefutable. That's... How, how old is he now? Is he still doing it? He's, in, he's born in 1957. <sighs> oh, he's freaking old. Oh, he's old. 21 world titles. <laughs> that is pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. Um... I love he has his own like, line of axes. He, 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 he <laughs> made, he's made the World Axe Man Hall of Fame. Oh, oh, who else is in the world? Love to be in there. Paul Bunyan. <laughs> you know, you know. I was voted. Chopper Reed. I was voted in the Axe Man Hall of Fame. Like that sounds like a, you know, manly thing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Sounds like it's got something to do with picking up women. Maybe he's an Axe Man. <laughs> What's he like? Yeah, he's yeah, a total right. Axe Man. Eh? Real Axe Man. He was a world Axe Man champion. <laughs> Old Axe Bradham over here. Yeah, Axe Man Bradham. <laughs> let's see Operation Story tomorrow. I don't. Know. Yeah, sure. Time. Yeah, let's look. We've got a few of them. Let's put it up on the board. Mm. Get them up there. <clears throat> the only thing I was going to say off the back of today's show, though, Suze, is I've also been called the glue, oh, as you were right. called the glue. That's right. earlier. But it was from my own podcast because, you know, we get people that write, that listen, write in, and they, yeah. I'm doing it with two other blokes, and they credit, you know, one guy, he's the funny guy, he yeah. comes in and says all the things that no one else is willing to say, someone else has got all the knowledge for the things that we're mm. talking about, does all the heavy research, and they go, and Mitch, <laughs> he's he's the glue of the show. <laughs> and I'm like, that's like, as a guy going, you know, you want to be hot, you want to be sexy, it's like... <laughs> He's so cute. So, nice. so you don't want to be cute. Yeah. Nice. He's Brad Pitt's nicest. not cute. Ryan Gosling isn't nice cute. Guy. He's hot. You know. Nice guy. He's out yeah. of the glue. And I said, at best, I'm clag. You know. <laughs> I said, you know, I'm, not, I'm that pace you give kids in grade one. That's if they eat it, they're, they're not going to die. Not. It's barely glue. You know. It's just sort of yeah, you don't cloudy want to water. The show. You're, not the, you're not the glue. Of the you're, not show. Perkins, right, you're not Perkins paste. <laughs> no. Remember that clag? Yes. I remember. I remember clag. Yeah. Perkins paste. I think it was pre clag. Pre clag. Is that what you did before? What, what's before what, glue what did it come in, in a bottle? It was in a purple bottle with a. Uh, don't worry. No, we no, clag was our thing. No, 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 we, no, clag. no was, we, we had clag. It was it called penis paste? There was no one had clag. And, remember the smell of that? Clag remember it was in that it weird, like, it was weird little white bottle? And it always get, red, get over your hands and you'd stick it thing and it worked. And then you'd stick the thing down and it'd be wet and it'd never quite. You'd sit there, you'd peel off a dry clag off your fingers. What were we doing that we were sticking so many things? I do remember that, Sus. Yeah, I do remember that. That was I do not remember that. That was like the competition. It was thicker. It wasn't as good because it was harder to spread. Yeah, and then someone came out with that little thin, uh, thin tube. Yes, with the sort of the yeah, like a the like a lipstick of, thing. Yeah, and then squeeze yeah. it, and oh, yeah, ooze out, it ooze out the holes. Yes, lip gloss. Do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Was it, what were you talking about before that? You just piqued my interest about something. Uh, okay. The glue of the show. The glue of the show. Oh, no, you, Brad Pitt, you mentioned, did you mention? Oh, yeah, oh, just the fact well, he's that. Not, he's, not, he's, he's not the glue of the show. He's not cute. He's not glue. He's yeah. a, he is the show. Yeah. Well, I, saw, I saw just yesterday, actually, he won, he won an award. I don't know if it's from 100 years ago, mm-hmm. but so as he wins this award, it's one of those big things, mm-hmm. and they give him the award, and he's up there on the stage, and he goes, yeah, I'm going to use this as my new Tinder profile. <laughs> Did he? Oh, that's cute. He went, cute. He went funny about two years ago. Yeah. He? Was it post Divorce? Angelina? Yes. Yeah. He, he started coming out with really funny kind of single mm. gags. I think he was Didn't back he? on the dating scene, and all of a sudden there was the uh, you know the equivalence of like your your, your Hadid sisters or something yeah, like that yeah. that he was starting to yes. float around and yeah, and yeah. be uh, rumored with. Yeah. Who's he dating? Isn't he dating Ash's friend? He keeps a pretty low profile, uh, doesn't he? That lady? Uh, He's learned how to do uh, it well. Not, not Anna. Uh, isn't he? Not Anna de Armas. Isn't he? That'd be a what? super race. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, if... They, if, should be, they should be pumping out kids. <laughs> Brad Pitt's already made children with Angelina Jolie. If he starts making children with Anna de Armas... I yeah. mean, that's who we're pushing forward to the aliens when they come down. They go, these are our best. Yep, these are send, the best looking send humans. Them forth. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, Brad Pitt and. Anna Damos. Ernest D. Raymond. Oh, no. Oh, who is she? Oh, she's a UN lawyer, I think. No, oh, she just went to Clooney Rare. <laughs> <laughs> They're just UN lawyers lining up to date these Ernest guys. Ernest D. Raymond. Yeah, she's. Humanitarian lawyer. Age appropriate, I'm sure. Boring. Yeah, Brad? Boring, Brad. How old is she? Because. Uh, 
He, he must be 60 now. Like? Mm-hmm. So he's looks, probably he's probably moved on to 30 year olds. Well, she looks quite pretty. <laughs> I mean, she's quite pretty, but yeah. Um, it's a shocking photo of him. <laughs> Brad <laughs> It's the worst yeah. ever photo of him. He will be 61 at the end of the year. Oh, uh, and, and, I don't know how old she is. You know, um, Brad Pitt. What about Tom Cruise? Do you reckon Tom Cruise yeah. has had a, How too young much Botox? He looks? Yeah. Oh. No, oh, I don't think no. he's had too much Botox. I don't see the Botox oh. much. Right? I, 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 I could see the Botox in him. I think he's st- all of a sudden it's like yeah. he's, he's put aging off for about 15 years and now that he's like he's like 62 or what I want to say at the moment yeah. and it's like it's all of a sudden it's just caught up on him. I think the last 18 months and because he's had a Mission Impossible come out and a Top Gun that they filmed two years ago. Yeah. When he's promoting that it's like oh my god look at how amazing he is but then he's on the promo circuit and he, the bloke just looks tired. Like he's he doing looked pretty good at the Olympics. Yeah, like he oh, he still looks good. He's you know racing through a yeah. motorcycle. I thought it was more than Botox actually. His, his face looks puffy to me, like like a, like, like, be, fillers. like stung by fillers. bees. Fillers. You've got to be careful. Oh, I didn't with fillers. see that. Yeah. I have Botox, but um, he'd be fillers, taking pills that we don't even know about. I reckon. <laughs> Someone else oh, had fillers the other day, and it didn't turn out for them. Oh, Jennifer Aniston, she was doing a promo for her movie, and she had all these fillers, mm. but it didn't work out. I'm hadn't settled. Comment. I'm not commenting on her. No. It hadn't settled. Well, down. Not, I don't feel comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I think she, other, other than to say she's a wonderful comedian. And Jennifer per- Aniston, yes. Yes. yeah, wonderful person. Yes. Did you sorry in this in this day that I'm on for uh, Brad Pitt? Yeah. She was born uh, December 19, 1992. She's 31. She's so. younger than me. Who's that? Uh, the, Brad, Brad Pitt's, Pitt's either rumoured oh. or confirmed alleged current girlfriend. So he has moved into the 30s. He's, he's, he's oh, aiming over him. up. Yeah, but only she, just. She was married to Paul Wesley. Do you know him? Oh, is he the bloke from the Vampire yes. Diaries? Yeah. Is he? Yeah. How do you know that? Absolutely. I knew you would that know that. Out of my horse. Big upright. Yeah, I think so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she must have some swagger. Yeah. You know, we'll leave you I'll leave you with that. Remarkable. <laughs> the Ash, Lutzi and Susie O'Neill podcast.